Hello my friends and welcome to my video uh, regarding mask wearing and how you can opt out and that you have the right to uh, stand up for your rights. So let me tell you the story. I needed to go, go to the bank to cash a check and I walk in the security guard comes up saying I gotta wear a mask. I told him hey I have anxiety wearing a mask I'm not gonna wear one and then he pulls out a mask from somewhere I haven't seen the package he pulled it out from so with his uh, hands he's trying to hand me a mask to put on and I told him no I don't know if you got it from a brand new package and I just don't wear masks so then the manager lady says she'll call the cops and I said sure you know you guys are doing something illegal here anyway so uh, one of the guys knew me and he was really nice about it I guess and I stood in that little area where the ATM is and I was actually expecting that the lady called the cops but I guess they called it off because they knew me for years and um, making this testimony just in case you know you're faced with the same decision I, I had to say no I, ha I had the option to put on the mask and get along with the crowd but see the challenge is with this lockdown is that the numbers and the science doesn't justify it um, like for example there's been numerous studies back to the 90s to the 2000s with you know medical doctors wearing masks and they found them that it doesn't even stop spreading disease but the other challenge is when you're wearing the mask is you're breathing in your own viruses and carbon dioxide anyway so it becomes kind of like um, a challenge you know for me I think it's a really unhygienic uh, thing to do you know everybody keeps keeps wearing the same mask and you know you throw it in your pocket so you know I personally don't want to wear a dirty napkin on my face so the, the time the point that I started recording this video was I was already in the you know public area lobby where the uh, ATM is that's locked out of the main area so I got kicked out of the main place for refusing to wear a mask and I informed them that, you know, I have, um, you know, a disability that, you know, I have, uh, you know, putting on a dirty napkin on my face. I feel like I'm a slave. I feel claustrophobic. A lot of these other things. I don't think I needed to actually explain it, but I did anyway. And so long story short, one of the guys knew me and he's like, what do you, what do you need? I'm like, hey, I just want to, you know, deposit a check. So I waited in that vestibule and, uh, you know, I put on the recording because I wasn't, you know, sure if, you know, there's going to be police coming to arrest me or to try to enforce uh, mask law that doesn't exist. You know, that's one of the things I, I, I told uh, the guy that, you know, went and deposited the check for me and came, came back out with the receipt was like, there is no law because if there was then there would be like kind of like a fine associated let's say you you know have a speeding ticket they charge you 150 bucks you know a red light whatever you, you just you, you just know what it is that's what laws are you know they they have like a reason and limitation so a policy is not a law and another thing to be aware of here in new york there was a cuomo executive order that gave um the guys on un unreasonable uh, powers in order to actually deny access to uh, places but actually in that executive order it says except with people with medical conditions of course but uh, nobody reads that part nobody goes on the actual nyc.gov website uh, with the Gu governor cuomo and actually read the original order so having read the original order it actually ended i think end of uh, uh june june 26 maybe you know, I looked at the PDF, I looked at the original order, I looked at what it exactly, it, what kind of powers it gave people. So most places I have no uh, no issues w with not wearing a mask, but in the situations where the people say call the cops, I'm like, hey, go call the cops, you know. You're obviously the one that's committing the, you know, the crime here of discrimination. So, um, I don't know, I think it's disgusting, you know, uh, to put on the mask, uh, you know, you're you know breathing out all your germs and viruses your snot you know it's a hot day your sweat um and then you're throwing it in your mat in your pocket with pocket change <laughs> and then and then you're gonna put this dirty napkin on so uh, i think this is really ridiculous but the, the thing to understand also is that this is social training eventually people will want to uh get out of social conditioning and um 
you know, so th they'll be forced to take a vaccine. So the vaccine so far with the trials with healthy men and uh, women or whatever, you know, they had is that they all got sick from the vaccine. Um, but then there's also hydroxychloroquine combined together with azithromycin and zinc. You know, I could show you a list of doctors that have been banned all from all over the internet that are heroes that have actually uh, cured a bunch of people from um, this disease and uh, hydroxychloroquine. It's called therapeutics and uh, you could actually uh, get it prescribed. You take low doses of it. It's completely healthy. Pregnant women have been taking it. People have been taking it off bland, uh, off brand uh, for decades, you know, on a, almost like a daily basis on a you know, regular regimen. Uh, so, the, so, there's a, so the most important thing that I've understood from all these doctors that have been banned from the internet uh, for sharing this information is that if people get this treatment within the first seven days, um, you know, most people recover very quickly, probably 99 and a higher. So, see, my, my uh, issue is this, is that if there's already a, a provable scientific therapeutic where you could actually call up the medical doctor, ask him about their results, you know, real people in the real field. So I choose to uh, follow those and uh, I choose to stand up for my rights because one of the most important things that this country was founded on is freedoms, you know, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, you know. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, among which are life, freedom, and the pursuit of happiness. So that was Thomas Jefferson in the Declaration of Independence. A bunch of people that staked everything in order to have the free country that we have now. So, um, I don't think this uh, video has any person, you know, identifying information of who I'm speaking to, but uh, this is my exact, you know, talk with the person, you know, again, you know, I started recording, you know, once I was already in the lobby, I wasn't aware, like, you know, if I needed a uh, video recording of, let's say, you know, if police came. So, but this is an earnest conversation that I had with somebody that I know uh, for a long time. And, you know, I told him, like, you know, I love their bank, I love their company, everything like that. It was completely coming with the, with the purest of intentions. So my, my intention is pure here to c continue a uh, free country where freedom of speech is paramount, where medical doctors are not censored. Because if you censor the information that could help people, uh, I feel like that's almost responsible for, for the for the atrocities that happen. So, like, uh, all... all, all bad things that happen, you know, when good men stand around and do nothing, so, uh, here's the video, um, let's, let's just listen to it and see what happens. Can you bring me a reset up? Yeah, put the phone out there. By the way, I'll call your uh, legal department because it's illegal to deny people with disabilities. Mm. Yeah, Even it's like it's no, a disability because if I feel claustrophobic, oh, if I feel like I'm trying to live in a free country. We don't have to I went to some place that kind of way. We have we have we have we have up a few blocks away. I can't even get out to go back to my car. Two blocks away. It's such a scam, my friend. You know what I'm saying? But no, we are scamming. We got we got trouble with that. You know what I'm saying? You got in trouble? Of course, because the customer told me without mask, the customer complained about that. What if I showed you an exemption card? I have an exemption card. Make a photocopy. Make a photocopy. Because you're not allowed to discriminate. I'm sorry. You know, I love you, man. You're, you're the best. I know you. God bless you. Thank you so much. So I filled out the form in the lobby. He handed it to me, uh, and I handed it to him, and I also have this little thing, it's a printout with the phone number to uh, American with Disabilities Act. Apparently uh, there's a federal law that says you can't discriminate against people with disabilities and my understanding it's also psychological. Uh, so I feel 
it's a lot of germs that get gathered up on the masks and that I can't breathe in the mask, I feel claustrophobic, I also feel like my country's uh, slipping away from me. So um, yeah, let's continue watching the video. He's gonna come back in a minute. It should be coming any minute now. Let's see. It's literally a four minute video, so. Okay. Redemption card and. So, I handed him the exemption card and I told him to uh, make a photocopy of it. Because uh, it's illegal to deny a person access to a business because they're not wearing a mask. There's nobody that could force you to wear one. Uh, the guy offered me a mask, but I told him, like, you're giving me the mask with dirty hands. I don't know where it's been. You're not giving it to me fresh out of the pack. And, you know, it's a scam. I have a medical exemption, things like this. So the cops might be coming too, but we'll see. We love you, we respect you as a person. We love you guys. You have to work with us, something. I love you guys. Let me show them something. When you have this sign here, because of that complaint, looks so very good. It's it's so first of all, it's not a law. Okay. If there was a law, you would have to law on the sign saying, but, oh, you go to jail. But, you know, you know if, I, if I, let's say, if I go drive past the red light, you say, oh, it's a $150 ticket or whatever. Okay, right. There is no law to that, especially when a person has a medical exemption. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I handed you the card to photocopy it? Yeah, yeah, it's why I give it back to you. Oh, so you give it back to yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, So, people with medical exemptions, it could be psychological or it could be physical and medical. I understand. So, what happens when we're wearing a mask, actually, is all those viruses that we breathe out, all the shit that we breathe out, it gets trapped in a mask. And then we put it in our pocket, and then they're saying, like, oh, we're stopping a disease from spreading because because we had this dirty ass thing with my chain, with my pocket change, with my money. It's just like, do you really? Know? You think they're protecting us? Do you, do you think I, I love it? I don't love it. It's bothering me, but it's like I'm doing it. I told you. I was so not. in the future, if you could come out here, I'll be yeah, fine here too. Like, I know like, it's secondhand treatment. I'll be Rosa Parks, but somebody has to do it. Yeah, yeah. Somebody has to do this. I love here. this country. Okay. You know, I'm originally from another country. People yeah. always tell me, oh, go back to your country. Yeah, no, this <laughs> is my motherfucking country. <laughs> and I love it. Survive, right? And I love it. You know what I mean? I like So look, get with your lawyers. Study the information because according to the HIPAA laws, mm -hmm. there's nobody that's, that's like, you're not allowed to discriminate against people that have the medical condition. Honestly, yeah. Medical condition could be psychological. I don't even have to tell the guy that. You know, this Where's guy's he? handing me a mask. Exactly. I don't know where his hands are. He could have not even washed his hands in the toilet. He just, he just, he just I don't know if he's giving me a piece of shit on it. You turn around, you spit on it. I don't know. So it's, so it's kind of like, look it up. There is no law that could get, that could force you. And you guys could be open to. I'm not gonna follow the lawsuit, obviously. Yeah. But I mean, you guys are gonna have problems otherwise because there's no there's no law that says you have to wear a mask. The phone, okay, yeah. I'm in. You take care, right? God bless you, my friend. Good luck with everything. Bye. Bye. So, that was my um, conversation with people. I'm not trying to be confrontational. I'm just trying to be a nice guy. And, you know, I live in the neighborhood. I, I love the people around. Um, they're wonderful people. And, I mean... I've said enough with what to be said, but if we don't stand up now, when will we? You know, what kind of like negative effects should be done?
you know so mask wearing is a scam i mean it, i think it spreads more viruses than it you know protects uh also the virus if you look at the size of the millimeters the nanometers whatever the size of it it's like 10 times smaller than the best mask you could put on so unless everybody's prepared to walk around in nasa spacesuits with their own separate air i mean it's a joke it's it's a comedy and um just do it out of the love for your country i mean out of the love for my community out of the love for the for the people here so just um talk to people from your heart that that's that's what i believe so i hope you enjoyed this video you know thumb it up share it uh I hope it helps somebody, you know, to, you know, be brave and uh, understand that they have rights and freedoms and God bless America. God bless America.